Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Build It. <laughs> and now we're going to do the Magerite Throne. We had just finished doing the Garden of Moor a little while ago. These are also for our Warhammer tournament. And as you can see I have seven. And it's because the eighth, actually, is an original Magerite Throne. Now this one was 8th edition. They actually had these skulls on the bottom. But it is the exact same model of the Magerite Throne. I hope this doesn't look too bright. I'm using some new lights here. But anyway. So on the 8th edition one, this is your throne here, of course. And it's got these little dragons on the side which are pretty neat. And I've left these loose so that I could paint the whole thing. But at the tournament there's going to be one table with this one on it, which will be a deluxe edition for the players. But anyway, now as you can see the... oh, the new one. <coughs> the new box just has the base and the actual throne itself. And uh, let's go down and let's crack one open and build it. All right, let's open this thing up and have a quick look at the contents. Now, if you've seen this What's in the Box episode, I also opened up Mage Right Throne. But this time, we're going to build it. Time for me to get a new knife blade, but anyway. All right, just about elbowed something. <laughs> okay, there's that little flap there. So, here's our basic mage right throne. plastic bag. It's actually taped on this side. So we'll just cut through the tape. And spill out the contents here. So there is your base. See it's still got the little tabs for hooking into the top of those skulls. Which I do believe now you'll have to chop them off to make it fit on the on the ground nice and flat. Okay, put that there. There's our throne. The back and the front where the seat will go. And the sides of the chair, the outside and the inside. Which will be going there. That's the seat. Which will end up here. And there's our gargoyles. Uh, for left and right. And these little skull skulls which will be the bottom part of the chair there. Okay, so let's get into cleaning this thing up and I'll glue one together. We'll start with our base and I've got my side cutters, my hobby knife and the sanding block with two sides rough and smooth sandpaper. And we'll flip this over. Now these be quite interesting. So I hope this works. Just take my side cutters and I'm kind of chopping and tilting here just to break that 
because I don't think I'll be able to cut it all the way down there. But right there, it now sits on the ground properly. Which is unfortunate I don't have those giant skulls on this one. <laughs> but what we'll do is, just to ensure there's nothing extra going to hit, just take our sandpaper across here. Yeah, see a little bit hanging down there. So we'll just, at an angle, hold our sandpaper and sand it right about there. And you can see it beveled it down a bit. And now it really fits square to the tabletop. And then what we can do is... See, this was all on a parts tree and they clipped it off. Lots of big spurs. So, I'm actually going to grab another tool here. Which is our hobby file. And I'm just going to, right where I can see it, go up across this way. There, could go like this. We'll turn the file both ways. Because this file has a smooth side here and the cutting teeth along here. I know I'm getting a bit of glare, you can't really see. But at any rate, we'll just file this up here until that bird disappears. And a little bit there, and then this you don't want to hit there. So you want to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> it can be difficult. But take your time with it. Remember this is your model. And maybe in your model, this happy little burr has to come off. Because it does in my world. <laughs> Next I'll be growing an afro and a beard. No, I'm just kidding. It's my Bob Ross reference. Bob Ross was a famous painter. Look him up on YouTube. Back in the 70s and 80s. He just painted our, his way into our hearts this happy little trees. There's another way you can do a bit of this. Just take your knife blade, carefully your fingers. Just run it across that line. A little bit. And then go across there. And that should just cut that a little bit right out of there. There. Now that's parallel to that line. Now I won't go all the way around the whole thing on this video. But what I'll show you is just... Just to scrape down along here. Gets rid of the, the high edge of that seam line that's running across here. And just blow the dust off. You can always vacuum it up later. Like a happy little pile of dust somewhere. Okay, so what I'd be doing is going around here and around there with the hobby knife. And there and there and there. Just this seam line along the base. You can feel it. You can actually see it with the lights here. See how it just gleams up? So what you want is you actually want to scrape this off. Scrape it around here. You see, 
See the difference? Now it's gone. You can see visibly that it, this is there, but this side is gone. And that's what you want. You want that smoothness, because the paint doesn't like to stick on high, high ridges like that. As well as your fingers don't like it when they're going across to pick it up. It's like a sharp edge, like a knife. So that is the point of cleaning those seam lines. So now the other part is you have to remove the burrs and the seam lines on these other things, like the cushion. These are relatively easier than the base. There. That gets rid of that one. And just push this one off. I, you, because there's no, no teeth on this edge, I can put my finger here and actually use this to guide against. Applying my pressure down this way with the file. And of course it doesn't hurt to cross a little. Cross sanding. Cross sanding is a, a technique for accuracy in your sanding. You would first sand in one direction. So as you can see, this is crossing that piece that way. So you sand this way for a little bit. Then you reverse your direction. Now let's see. Go this way. So if I turn the part over, it'll cross the pattern of the sandpaper. And this is good for your, your uh, if you're doing model cars and that sort of thing, or panels with a long line, because cross sanding will actually correct your sanding pattern so you don't get any, any dips or anything like that in your project. So we'll just take this and we'll scrape down the seam lines along the edge, which again you'll have to feel with your fingers. Or maybe catch in the light properly. And we just scrape that so it doesn't, you know, leave that edge or, or uh, act like a knife blade against your fingers. And we do this right around there. That way. Makes a nice little sound if you got got a fairly sharp blade. Make a little squeaky sound. Nice and relaxing. I'm going to try to get a little there. And you can feel a little rough there, so I'll just take the edge around. Okay, there we go. There. So, what if you've got a major right throne, why don't you do around all the seam lines, like I showed there, and I'll do the same, and we'll come back with the glue together. All right. So now that we've got all the parts cleaned up, we're ready to glue them together. So we get our Games Workshop glue out here. And we'll pick, just move those to the side. We'll do the, the throne first. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do, I want to make sure that this is on the outside and that's on the inside when we put it there. Hmm. So, Let's just take some glue. There's a groove in here. And we'll just squeeze some glue into the groove. 
Let's actually do this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'll try to quickly set this up. I'm going to go one, two, and three. Now there's grooves in the sides here where the chair is going to, the cushion part's going to sit. What we can do, if this is a good liquid, put this to the test. We'll just put a little line down there. And then under here is another groove. And put a little glue back here. And there. Okay, and this I'll put right there. Okay, is that right? I think it's right. We'll take a look with the other throne. It's good to have one that I did before to compare with the one we're doing now. <laughs> okay. So now we got to put the skulls in there. And we'll just Glue there. And glue there. And that's the throne. So just carefully put that there and let the glue set. Then we have our two Two gargoyles, a left and a right. So let's just move the camera a little. Oh, come on. Okay. We'll just zoom in here a little. Maybe that'll help. And move this that way. Okay. So again, we've got this edge here. Which will carefully go around with our glue. Oops. <laughs> and make sure you got the right one. That you're not going to drop it. And there we go. That's pretty straightforward. Now you'll notice something here. You can see it. I left the burrs on the feet. And that's so that... Oops, once this guy finishes gluing... That I can sand this whole thing all at, all at once and make the feet nice and flat as it was with with this other one here. That's just to perfect it as you go on to the table. Because remember this is going to go on there, so you want it nice and square, right? And that's about it for the Mage Right Throne. We've got the other guy to glue together.
you could do that on your own because it's I just showed you how <laughs> all right so we will get this thing all ready for painting and that'll be a future video so wish you well on your build and we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching bye